hello viewers in this video i'm going to show you how uh, we can attach an additional disk in v vmware sxi system and how can we scan and uh, make that run available from vsware so i have installed a vmware sxi version 5 on vmware workstation earlier and i have a separate video for that so if you wanted to know how to install a vmware sxi you can go ahead and check my uh, video about the installation of sxi okay so in this video uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to assign a new disk to this uh, sxi system and i will make this new disk available from vsphere client okay so first thing what you have to do is just right click on the servers and go to setting and once you have this window select hard disk so currently we have 40 gb of hard disk attached to this system so i'm going to add additional disk to this uh, sxi system so click on add and select hard disk and select next and choose create a new virtual disk here there are two types id and scuzzy so id is created out uh, right now because of the evaluation version i'm using for this uh, vmware sxi so if it is a paid or licensed version then you would be able to see that type as well so for now i'm going to use uh, scuzzy and i'm going to do as independent okay so independent mode next so what are that's new size you are going to assign i'm going to assign uh, about 60 gb and i will select this option allocate a disk space now and i will select this option stores a virtual disk in a single file next and this is the default name it, uh, given by the sxi so if you wanted to change the name you can change it but here dot pmdk should be there so and in which location this disk will be available if you wanted to change that location you can do it so after that you just say finish and once you do that it will going to create a virtual disk so since it, it depends on the size of the virtual disk which how many uh, how much gb you are going to create so i have selected 60 gb that's why it will going to take a little time so i will resume this i will pause this video for now and i will resume once it is completed okay so this has been created and now i can see there are two disks in this profile the 60 gb which i have just uh, added to this vmware profile so i'm good with that so i'll say okay so that disk has been added so in vsphere client i have already logged in so this is my vsphere client uh, here this option is not showing let me close this and open a new vsphere session okay so in this session just log in with your username and password ignore this okay so it is trying to connect and trying to load my vsphere so this is a evolution vsphere it's a evolution uh, sxi that's why i'm getting this uh, warning message so okay so right now you are able to see many options here so in this configure section there is uh, hardware and software section so if you check here there is a storage sec section so click on storage and you will see there is a data store which is attached to this uh, vmware and size of around 435 gb it is showing here and around 1 gb it is free so i wanted to add that 60 gb which i have added in the profile so just try to rescan and see if that this has visible here so it is not visible so that means i have to add it manually so click on add storage and once you click on that you'll just 
have two options here land disk and the another one is network file system so if you are using uh, any disk which is coming from nfs so probably you need to use this network file file system option but now since i have uh, attached this disk through uh, vmware and it is a scuzzy disk so i'm going to use this option so click on next and you in this section you'll be able to see the disk which you have just attached so here the disk capacity the 60 gb of the disk which i have attached it and name of the disk is this one so just select that one and just click next and uh, this is a type of uh, file system version so whether you want to go with vmfs5 or vmfs3 so what are the feasibility and uh, features we have it you can see here select this option to enable capacities such as 2 tb plus support so if you select this option you can add more than 2 tb of uh, disk so that's why i have selected this one and click next so once you click next again next and you can just give a data store name so i'll give a name called data store okay so let me give a different name i think data store is already there so i'll give a name called uh, data store for application okay so i just click next and just go with the default option next and finish it so once you finish that now you can able to see the new data store which i have just attached so in if you click on that you will see more details about the data store so here is the details and the part and additional information you can see about this data store so th this is how you have to add an additional disk in esxi and this is how you have to add that disk from vsphere client I hope this uh, video is informative for you. Uh, if you have any questions and query, please comment in the uh, YouTube comment section. I will try to get back to you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.